As you progress in your career as a registered technologist, or RT for short, it's important to maintain your knowledge and skills and to stay current with advances in medical technology. Patients and employers expect it, and ARRT requires it. Completing continuing education activities, otherwise known as CE, is an important and required part of maintaining your credentials. At first, you might have questions about how you earn and report CE activities. Maybe you don't know where to start or what activities you can use. The good news is, once you understand the basics, you'll see that completing your CE requirements is a very manageable process. Most RTs will need to complete and report 24 approved CE credits once every two years during their annual renewal process. For those with an RRA credential, the number of required credits is 50. We call the two years during which you complete CE a biennium. Keep in mind, your annual renewal deadline and your biennium deadline are two separate dates. Every year, your annual renewal deadline is always the last day of your birth month. Your biennium, however, ends on the last day of the month before your birth month and this deadline is only every other year. Remember, your biennium doesn't end on your birthday. You can use a wide range of activities to earn CE credit, including online study, lectures, and journal readings. All activities must meet ARRT's CE guidelines, however. Because of that, not all activities count for ARRT CE credit. Select activities that are activities approved by our partner organizations, academic courses that are relevant to medical imaging, radiation therapy, or patient care, advanced cardiac life support or pediatric advanced life support certification, or, in some states, activities you've completed for your state licensing requirement. You can learn more about the different types of acceptable CE activities by reading the Continuing Education Requirements document found on our website. If you need help finding CE activities, log into your account on ARRT.org and select Find Biennium CE Activities from the Complete Business drop-down menu. You can report your CE quickly and easily using your ARRT online account. As we talked about earlier, you'll complete this process during your annual renewal every other year. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter your activities and submit each entry. If you don't understand something, click on the information icons to learn more. You won't need to upload copies of your certificates of participation or academic transcripts during your annual renewal. However, you'll want to hang on to those in case ARRT ever needs additional information from you. We approved certain professional societies to transfer CE records to RT's online accounts. If you're a member and have requested this service, you'll see relevant activities already listed on your online renewal application. You won't need to re-enter those activities, but make sure to verify the information is correct and that all activities are listed. Be sure to review each of your entries carefully for accuracy, including any activities that were transferred into your account. If you submit incorrect information, we might not accept an activity, and you may be subject to a CE audit. If you receive a notice that we're auditing your CE activities, it means we need more information regarding the activities you reported. There's no need to worry if you're being audited. It's simply a part of the quality checks we perform to make sure RTs meet the standards for providing high quality patient care. Follow the instructions on the notice and submit the necessary documentation to prove you completed the CE activities in question. Always respond to a CE audit by the deadline stated in your notification. Never ignore a CE audit. If you do, you'll risk losing your certification and registration. If you don't complete all your CE activities by the end of your biennium, you'll still have options for remaining certified and registered with ARRT. 
When it's time to renew, simply report the CE activities that you have completed and follow the steps online to accept a six-month CE probation status. Your credentials are still valid during this time. During your CE probation period, you can earn any remaining CE credits. After you report the credits and pay a probation fee, we'll remove your CE probation status. Remember, never report activities that you didn't complete and never change the dates of activities to fit your biennium. Falsifying records to ARRT can lead to an ethics investigation and sanctions. You could even lose the credentials you worked so hard to earn. You can find much more information about continuing education on our website. Log into your ARRT account and visit the Resources tab to learn more. If you have CE questions specific to your individual circumstances, call us. We're here to help.